quick configure. Ring. Bottom. Hey, I'm Rob. Um, I'm going to show you how to um, calibrate your system. Now, I'm in the bottom feed configuration, so I have a ring. And so as you walk through the, um, it's kind of a, a, like a choose your own adventure book, really. Um, you go through the quick configure. So it's actions. So the first setup, you're going to go quick configure. Okay, what kind of kinematics kit do you have? Do you have a ring, a linkage, a pantograph, or a quadrilateral? Uh, I have a ring. So, or the metal Maslow linkage, which is different. And so you click, I have ring. And so you select ring. And then your rotational radius shows up as your default. 138.4. Is your chain off the top or off the bottom? Basically, do you have weights hanging down? That's off the top because the chains go around the top of the pulleys. Or do you have the, the bungee setup, which is what I have here, and the chains come around the bottom up to the bungee setup. So mine's off the bottom, so you select bottom. Distance between the motors. Okay, so in your quick configure, the first thing that you do is measure the distance between the top motors. So to do this, I use a stool, then we climb up, and we measure each thing easy. It's actually quite a bit easier with two people, but we measure between the far actually. I find it's easiest to measure from the edge of the motor to the edge of the motor. Once we get it on there, okay, then we get a number. Okay, so I'm actually measuring from the bracket plate to bracket plate. So if I measure from the bracket plate to the center of the gear, I'm at 119 and 3 eighths. Okay. So 119.75, or sorry. Three-eighths. Huh. That motor is like 13 sixteenths in, roughly. So minus 13 sixteenths, 118 9 sixteenths, which puts us at 119.5. Five, 25.4 is 3,011.4875. I think I had 3,010 before. So that's in millimeters. And so you measure from the center to the center. Or if you don't want to do that, you can measure from the center to the edge of the gearbox because it's easy to hook your tape measure on that edge of the gearbox. You subtract 40.4 and there's a little button here that'll do it for you. Convert that to millimeters. My distance right now with the 10 foot beam is 3011.4875. And the height above the workspace, I measure from the beam. I measure from the back of the beam. Okay. To this guy. It's like 24 and a quarter. 24 and a quarter top of the beam, and from the top of the beam to the middle of that gear is inch and a quarter. So 24 and a quarter plus inch and a quarter. That's 25.5, so we're off a little bit. Um, it should be about two, what, 640 something? 645? 25.5 and 25.4. 
47 times 7, and then we put in the distance between the motors is 3011.487 bucks. And we hit submit. Okay. 